All right, guys, as promised, I have here examples with you on how to convert contrapositive, I mean, original statement into its contrapositive and converse. In fact, I have here um, two more examples for you. First one is Noel takes a taxi only if he does not have enough money. The other one is John suffering from sleep um, deprivation yields to him being tired. Okay, so as noted before you convert, we are to identify first the hypothesis and conclusion. Let's work on the first statement first. Okay, so um, let's have here the hypothesis. Okay, as noted in my previous video, if we use only if in the middle of a statement, it will be under preserved part. So that would mean that prior to the phrase only if would always be hypothesis. After the phrase only if would be the conclusion. So that means that Noel, um, Noel takes a taxi is our hypothesis here. That's our H. Okay, so after the phrase only if would be the conclusion. So that mean that means tail. Um Noel not having enough money is still our conclusion. Okay, let's see there. And as noted um, in my previous example as well, that when we do contrapositive. We are to take the negation of our hypothesis and conclusion. So our hypothesis, hypothesis is negation becomes Noel does not take a taxi. Or, or if you prefer the gerund, you may say is not taking a taxi, all right? So in that case, this time negating the conclusion as well would become um, he if he does have enough money or if he has money right so let's now have the contrapositive of that so we are to switch roles so for that part even if supposedly after the word if would be the hypothesis but our hypothesis right now again is not the original hypothesis but the original conclusion because we are to switch roles so instead of if hypothesis our hypothesis here would be the original conclusion and aside from that we are to negate the original conclusion so in that case that would become if Noel has enough money then what then conclusion but our conclusion this time is not the original conclusion again but it's the original hypothesis the concept of switching roles so if Noel has enough money then he um, is not taking taxi or um, then he does not take a taxi same thing there it was discussed as well in my previous example that we shall not use pronoun he at the start of the statement because again if we start by saying um, if he has enough money he there again will not always refer to Noel unlike unlike that if we start with Noel and using the pronoun he at the latter part then the he there would really prefer, uh, would really refer to Noel right so we have here if Noel has enough money then he is not taking taxi Okay, there. So let's check if it's the right thing. It says there that the hypothesis, the hypothesis here 
should be the original conclusion is it it is and we have to negate it that's why instead of by saying does not have we have here has enough and next would be the conclusion here is actually our original hypothesis hypothesis that's about noel taking a taxi and plus since it's contrapositive contrapositive we are to negate that's why we have here not taking a taxi okay so let's have that there you see we switch roles and we negate as well the hypothesis and the conclusion now how about for the converse for the converse just switch roles do not negate anything so in that case that will just be uh -huh. that will just be um if novel um has enough i'm sorry um does not have enough money mm -hmm. then he takes a taxi or he is taking a taxi there So we switch roles as we discussed as what we discussed earlier yeah, at the converse there all right so let's apply the same concept this time to our second example which would be john suffering from sleep deprivation yields to him being um tired okay so let's identify the hypothesis and conclusion now we have here yields yields is still under preserve so in that case our hypothesis here would be the one that would be prior to the word yields so that would be about john suffering from sleep deprivation that's our hypothesis and the conclusion would be after the word yields so um that would be about john suffering i mean john being tired there mm. all right see okay so just like in the previous example we are to negate the hypothesis and conclusion. So in that case, contrapositive would now become um, if John, again, we should start with a pronoun. We have to start with the subject, John. If John is not tired, that's a negation of our conclusion um, him being tired then our conclusion this time would be the original hypothesis that would be um, then he um, he does not suffer from sleep deprivation there Mm -hmm. that would be the contrapositive or the second statement so let's check it says there that the hypothesis would be the original conclusion okay 
original conclusion let's check that would be about him being tired but of course we are to negate that so our, our hypothesis here is the original conclusion plus its negation then our conclusion this time is the original hypothesis with its negation okay so how about for the second example but this time it's converse so that would be just getting rid of the negating part so this would become if John is tired then he is suffering or he suffers um, he is suffering from sleep deprivation there yes so I hope it's clear by now on how to convert contrapositive um, how to convert original statement into its contrapositive and converse just in case you're still confused on how to do this just again comment down below and tell me inform me that you prefer to have more examples or if you have queries on specific part of this video all right so see you in the next videos thank you guys